This is going to be part 4 of our CQRIs with Axon Framework complete application and today we are going to be working on the aggregates. So this aggregate is what I call the right model, right? So if you are working with CQRS architecture, you need to think in terms of two different models. So if I go back to the architecture diagram, let me see if I can get the diagram. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay, there I find, I find the diagram here. So this is a diagram and you see that there are two different data stores. We have the right DB and we have the read DB. The right DB contains the write model and the read db contains the read model both of them are actually almost the same thing they are the same data being stored the model is simply uh, represents the data or the entity being stored but in, in the times of cqrs the write model is called an aggregate the read model is normal read model the entity but the write model is called the aggre aggregate while we build up the write model we are going to be explaining as we go. So let's go to the the right model. I'm going to I'm going to create a new file and it's going to be a Java class. I'm going to call it product. So right model represents uh, a product. So in times of CQRS, you need to annotate the right model with the ag at aggregate annotation. So aggregate. All right. So this is fine. So basically, you need to specify the, all the necessary uh, states that need to uh, be used in this aggregate. Now, the states are simply the, 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 the attributes that you work with in the aggregate. So if you are issuing a command to, to, to create a new order, then you, you also know that maybe uh, or to add a new product, you need to uh, specify the ID, the price, the stock and so on. So in this case, we need all the attributes or all the states are required so in this case i'm going to just copy them and paste now also take note that one one of these states is annotated with the at aggregate identifier annotation as you can see here uh, i'm going to import the class so this specifies uh, the identifier for this particular aggregate so it's more like the primary key sometimes the times in CQRS might be a bit confusing but this is exactly uh, similar to what you already know and we also need an empty constructor required by Axon Framework you need uh, an empty constructor because this aggregate is created before before uh, the states are being changed by 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 commands all right so now we need the commands so in the, in the first case we need a command to add a new product to the to the to the um, to the event store so commands are annotated with add command handler annotation so i'm going to just specify the annotation add command handler and then you specify the command in this case a constructor for a product is actually uh, going to execute an add product command so this in this case we need a constructor which will represent or which is going to execute an add product command so i'm going to specify add product command cmd and what is going to happen when this command executes is simply that we are going to create a new product and then uh, apply a new product added event so i'm going to use the lifecycle method which is apply and it's a new product added event and we are going to build up this event using the 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 states of which is the id of the of the product the the, uh, the uh, price in the, the stock and the description so we will need to specify cmd.getid sorry uh, get id uh, cmd.getPrice cmd.getStock and cmd.getDescription so this is what we do here um, let me see yeah everything should be fine uh, let me make the code a bit more readable by moving this uh, downwards and this can move this way um yeah so let's see so these will actually move 
a little further. Okay, and this is going to move. All right, so now apply is the, is the method that we are going to use. So this apply comes from, it's, an, it's a life cycle method. So go to more options and say create, create static method. Uh, um, I should uh, maybe import static method. So that's what you should do, import static method. So you have aggregate uh, life cycle.apply. Alright, so the product should also be able to update its stock. So it should be able to call update stock uh, on a product to add uh, to either add, to either uh, depre deprecate uh, depre uh, depreciate the the number of stocks for a product or to add more. So in this case, I'm going to also use the add command handler annotation, and I'm going to uh, call this is a void function this time simply to update the stock. So update, uh, update stock. At this time, I'm going to specify update stock command, update stock command CMD. And in this case, we may have to perform a, a little, a bit of a logic. In this case, we are going to check if the, 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 the stock coming from the command is actually less than the available stock. So the only time we are going to execute or apply a stock updated event is only when the stock specified in the command is less uh, than the available stock or when the available stock is greater. So we are going to say if the available stock, which is this dot stock, is greater than or equal to uh, cmd.getStock. And in this case, we are going to then apply uh, apply a new stock updated event stock updated event and i'd like to specify cmd.getid and cmd.getstock all right so i think everything should be fine so this is the update update stock uh method which is going to apply a uh which is going to execute a stock an update stock command okay that is fine um we also need to uh okay give me one second let me just make sure everything is fine okay all right so this aggregates will also be event sourced so we need to store the states this aggregate in an event store so once an event occurs is going to be sourced to an event store so in this case we need an event source event sourcing handler so i'm going to use at event sourcing handler so basically when we have an entity which you already know from mvc an entity that is a read model let me go back to this architecture here so this place you see this read db contains your entities which are stored in a database H2 MySQL, but this, in this case, writeDB is event sourced to an event store. In this case, we are using Axon Server Event Store, and that is why we have this uh, event sourcing handler uh, methods here. So, event sourcing handler is simply uh, functions or methods that have the name on. And once there is an event that of course is going to update the event store, so that is what we, that is what we do here. So I'm going to say public void. So they are void functions as well because they are simply updating the event store on stock updated uh, on on stock updated event EVT. So what we simply do is uh, we simply uh, get the ID. Oh, set the ID of the set the ID of the aggregate using the using the uh, the data coming from the uh, from the from the event from the event handlers. Okay. Uh, stock. In this case, we are we, we are going to dep uh, depreciate the stock equal to stock minus EVT uh, dot get stock. So you can see I'm typing out this uh, so that I can explain to you that this is something you need to actually be doing. The more you type out your programs, the better you, you, you the better it is for you. 
So let me see, I think we have an error here, so... Um, uh, okay, I have a comma here, so I'm just gonna take it out. And... Um, we also need to specify event sourcing for when, an, uh, when a product is uh, added. So in this case, I'm simply going to copy and paste so that I can save the time. So I'm going to just paste it. So it's basically the same thing when a product is added. Okay, so uh, another thing I would like to now do is to create the right model for the order. So I'm going to create, I'm going to say new uh, Java class and this, in this case is going to be order. Order and just like before, we are going to annotate with at aggregate annotation we also need to add the we also need to add the, the 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 states that are needed in this case I'm going to just paste it from my clipboard and this is something you already know I will not go ahead to repeat the explanation at this point so let me import the class and also import the class for UUID and I'm going to copy the remaining part of this class uh, of this aggregate and paste it right here. So in this case we have just import all the necessary class here uh, import and also just come here import uh, import class apply we, we need to import the static method and in case of this right so this is the right model for the order and I'd like to recommend you take some time to go through it to, to understand what is happening. So these are the states, this is required, this is the handler function for a new order being created and this is event sourcing handler for uh, an order created uh, event that actually updates the event store with this new aggregate. So at this point we've completed our right model section. We are going to, so basically we've completed building up this right model, uh, the, this right model section. Actually, not this, not this data store here, but the the functionality to save, uh, or to save into this right model. So we are now going to build up our read model, which is very easy and is going to just be like normal entities that you've been working with with Hibernate and Java. I'm going to stop here for now, and I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel, and we we'll see you in the next part.